Hello, this is John Rinaldi talking to you today from Dallas, Texas. I'm in fact, I'm at in enemy territory actually. It's Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. I'm here today to, to, to take a private VIP tour of the of the Cowboys Stadium. I've just been through, actually been through the tour. I saw the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders locker room, the Cowboy Cheerleaders locker room. I saw the elevator that lifts people up into the giant TV screen. This is an amazing place. This place is the biggest air-conditioned facility in the entire world. They have two massive panels that open up on the, in the ceiling. Each one of those is a, it weighs 1.68 million pounds. Amazing place. The TV that they have in there is seven stories high. This is incredible. They have 64 75 horsepower mo motors to move each of those panels. Each of the end zones, the windows completely open up. They're like gigantic glass doors that slide all the way open and they have to do those together otherwise the pressure in the stadium would blow all the windows out. It's an incredible place. What you see behind me is the arch. This arch is, the, is a quarter mile long. There's two of them that hold up millions and millions of tons of roof. This is a, a pretty awesome place. This is the kind of place that, that uses a lot of building automation protocols in order to to facilitate the, the control of a massive facility like this. In this case, they're using all kinds of Ethernet, but lots of places like this, they'll use lawn works, but they'll still have Modbus devices. And that's why we have, have built a lawn works to Modbus protocol converter. You can do Modbus TCP or you can do Modbus RTU and move that data onto LawnWorks. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with LawnWorks, LawnWorks is, is, uses something called network variables and the network variables are strictly defined, have strictly defined data types. Those data types are called snippets. So the way it's organized is you have to ha make available to the LawnWorks network a certain set of network variables and you have to pick from these snippets. Well, the, the option, you only get 192 of them in, the, in a small node like the one that we're using without going to a massively expensive node. You can do as many as you want, but so to keep the cost down, we can, we've got 192 network variables available. What we've done is we've organized that into kind of a generic pro profile. So you can get that, you'll see a generic set of the most commonly used LawnWorks network variables when you go into LawnMaker to connect to some Modbus devices. Well, if, you, if that doesn't work for you, we're willing to customize that LawnWorks network profile for you with the particular kinds of network variables that you need. You can talk to me or you can talk to Drew in their inside sales, we can help you with that. Once you've, once you've got those profiles, those network variables, what you can do then is connect those to different to Modbus registers. So if the network variable is an integer, you can connect that to a word on, on Modbus, and more importantly, some word in some kind of Modbus slave device. So you could take a meter data, say a, uh, an energy, say energy, which probably would be four bytes, two registers in Modbus, and convert that and put that on the LawnWorks network as energy data in, an en in a network variable that's defined as a, net as an en as a snippet that supports floating point. So then, or you can go the other way too if you have some kind of data that you want to move from LawnWorks into a Modbus device, you can do it that way too. It's very, it goes, goes both ways. It's, and it uses all the same kind of stuff that you always get with an RTA device. Very easy to configure and use, very quick to get it deployed to, into, your, into your system, and it can support lots and lots of, of uh, Modbus devices, well, 30, up to 32, is, which is the max you get on, on, uh, on Modbus RTU 485 or some, an, actually a, a large, large, larger set that you get for Modbus TCP. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. It's really hot here in the Dallas sun. I'm, uh, I'm really boiling. So I'm going to get back, in, uh, back inside and have a, a, a cool adult beverage just to, uh, to cool off a little bit. Thanks. Have a great day.